What's up guys and girls, it's your boy The Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to the Epi Banger video. Today, guys and girls, I just got a very special package in the mail. Uh, I'm not in any way associated with this website, so I'm just kind of saying it's where I got my stuff at. Uh, I actually just got a package in from Digitaka. If you guys know anything about Digitaka, it sells JDM goods and supplies, stuff like that, stuff from overseas. And I'm super excited because something just came in the mail just now, and I just went and picked it up. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm so excited just to open the box right now, right here, this is a new reel. By the way, guys, if you guys know anything about me, it takes a while for me to buy a new reel that's expensive like this one. So I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm about to bust this thing open already. That looks sweet, that's a good angle actually. So this is a box from Japan. I guess that's self-explanatory. Um, FedEx just delivered it today. Fun fact with Digitaka, I paid the cheapest price for this reel you can find. I'm not saying what the reel is yet, but if you seen this video, you, you probably know because I most likely titled it the name of the reel, <laughs> but uh, the funny thing about Digitaka is I ordered this last Tuesday. Today is Monday. I got it in less than a week from Japan, which is absolutely crazy to me. And this looks like a return label just in case. Yeah, return label just in case uh, something goes wrong with the reel. If there is anything wrong with the reel, I would be surprised. Oh, they stapled it shut. The heck? It's all like stapled shut. Let me put this thing back in here. But uh, it looks like it's stapled shut instead of, you know, actually like tape shut, which, I mean, if it's coming from Japan, I don't really mind that necessarily. So, yeah. I just had a staple fly in front of my face. That was scary. But guys, I have been so, so excited for this reel. Oh, there's some cool Japanese newspaper. I know that's probably cringe for people who already ordered a bunch of stuff from Digitaka, but you know, there's Japanese uh, newspaper, it looks like, or comics. Kind of ripped it up a little bit, but that's fine. I probably shouldn't show some of the images that are on here because <laughs> the images are questionable. Uh, oh, look at all this. Got a sticker, got some Digitaka gram. That's so cool. That's honestly so cool. So we got some stuff, some paraphernalia, I guess is the word I'm looking for. But this is what I ordered. Now this reel is going to be perfect for what I'm planning on doing going forward in my fishing. Guys, I've been, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I've been really strong, struggling with my motivation for fishing lately. Um, just things aren't entertaining anymore in certain ways. Things really haven't been going well. I've broken a lot of rods. <laughs> I've uh, just really haven't had a phenomenal experience besides when me and my dad actually went down to Peacock Bass Fish and that was really the best fishing trip this past month and I told you guys, I'm gonna be busy this past month trying to fish, trying to catch fish, trying to make good content and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, only one of those trips panned out and I took three different trips, all of them were mostly a bust besides one and I only got one video out of that one trip that did well. Guys, I was struggling for a while. I, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do with fishing going forward. I didn't know what kind of stuff I wanted to start doing. And I think I've kind of pinned it down what I want to do again is I want to start dedicating to BFS just like I did last summer. Uh, it was All my content was ultra light and BFS fishing. You, you guys remember that. That's why you, most of you guys, I grew the most I ever had last summer doing what I actually like. And this past couple of months, I've been doing things that I think should work, but they don't. And this, what I'm about to start doing more often is what I actually want to do, and I'm super excited. And this reel has something to do with that. Now, I'm going to unbox it, show you the box real quick, and you tell me what I'm about to start doing. That is a new Daiwa reel. They sent me the right hand, they sent me the actual correct handle model I asked for, because I accidentally had the wrong handle model come up in my order confirmation. But guys, you guys don't know what that means. It says Gekka Bijan. Uh, it is the Daiwa Gekka Bijan uh, Air TW PE Special. So PE Special means that this reel is specifically da designed for braiding. And Gekka Bijan means queen of the night, which is essentially, this reel was designed for night jigging in salt water. And you guys know me, I live in Florida and salt water is one of my favorite ways to fish right now. And one of my favorite ways to do it now recently has been BFS. I have a ton of saltwater gear already that I love and I always use the heck out of it, but now we are really about to be doing something different. What I wanted to do a lot more guys is I want to do a lot more BFS saltwater fishing. I have a lot of gear that I'm 
starting to get into and invest in for better saltwater gear, uh, just better lures, I mean, really. Not rods, I got great rods. I don't really need any more rods, but the reel is what I need the most of. I wanted to unbox this upstairs, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my room's a mess. I'm actually moving soon, so I'm gonna have a nicer space to actually do my unboxings. But this is just going to be the unboxing and first impressions video. Now, I'm going to do an on the water test in salt water because that's what this reel is designed for, and that's really what I wanna do. I actually have barely even opened up the box already, but here is it opening. Officially an unboxing video. Oh my god. I'm playing around. They got some stuff. SLP plus. It's in Japanese, so I don't know what it means. Guys, I only know Spanish and Chinese. I do not know Jap. We have the owner's manual and things about it right there. I don't know what that is. I'm sure it says I can pull out Google Translate and tell you what that says, but I think this is talking about mainly uh line over running the spool. Uh because I know there, there's some skepticism about that online, but here is the real. Oh, I am so excited, guys. This is kind of like what I've been needing something lately. Something that I'm really getting excited for. And BFS, guys, BFS excites me more than anything, to be honest with you. This reel, the drag is so loud. This feels smaller than the Alphys. And it's way smoother. They're not way smoother, it's smoother for sure. And it comes with a zero adjust, I forgot about that. So this is already actually adjusted for your spool tension out of the box, which is completely awesome. And this actually has 12 ball bearings, I believe, versus the Alphys Air 6 Plus 1. Uh, and this actually comes with a separate spool. But if I wanted to, I could literally switch out this spool with any spool that fits the Alphys Air, because this is the same body as the Alphys. And this reel looks slick, guys. It looks primo, super slick. I love the looks of this reel more than anything. And the drag is so loud. If you guys have been around on my channel, like even a lick, as far as looking at things like reels, my reviews of reels, you guys know that I am a sucker for loud drag. <laughs> it's so, yeah. <laughs> See, I installed the Sagisi Customs uh, drag clicker on my Alphys Air. And it's loud, but it's not that loud. And the, dr okay, so one thing I actually complained about with the Alpha six months later, I know this was a while back ago if you guys don't remember it already, but I actually said I don't like how hard it is to adjust the brakes. Well, now that's solved. So before, sometimes the mistake I would make with the Daiwa Alpha Air is I would adjust too many steps at a time when I only needed a one step or a two step adjustment, I'd adjust like three or four. Like, that's, I just didn't need to do that much. If you guys notice, I also got a left hand, so that's pretty cool. But it's tough to get your exact brake dial down, and this brake dial feels like an improvement on the Alphys Air. I know that's probably very tedious and minuscule as far as uh, just reviewing a reel goes, but that, to me, matters a ton. So with this reel, they also have the T-Wing system. Super great, super, I love that design. I don't know why it works so well, but it does. It produces black backlash when your line gets caught in the eyes. Sometimes it does not have that much of a problem. Now, one thing is I've always done on every reel I've ever owned really is I replace the handle. That's the first adjustment I always make. I do not think I'm going to have to upgrade this reel a ton. If you guys have been considering getting an Alphys Air or a Gekka Bijan and you're stuck between the two options, I'm probably gonna tell you just from holding this reel right now. And honestly, I could have told you to get the Gekka Bijan before I got this reel. This reel right here, I would tell you to get this before the Alphys Air. The reason why is because all the problems with the Alphys Air, this reel fixes on its own. And if for instead of you having to upgrade and fix those problems yourself on the Alphys Air, you just buy it and you get it all set up ready to go. I use braid on all my BFS reels. The reason why is because I get more line capacity. I get better casting phenomena. Phenomena? Phenomena? <laughs> I get better casting experience out of a braid uh, focus. What am I trying to say? I get better casting out of braid. I'm gonna cut, I'm not even gonna cut all of what just happened out. I'm just gonna make it into a montage of me messing up all my words because I'm a goof. But the point is, I'm more of a braid guy anyways. So with the Alpha Air, it was not technically designed for just PE, which is braid, like I said. This reel was specifically designed with PE, and I notice with my own Alpha Air now, after having it as long as I have, I've almost had it a year. I think we're coming up on exactly a year. Oh no, it's been more than a year now. It's actually been more than a year now. But uh, with the braid, it actually, so if you notice here, 
there's two bars on the side. You can kind of see it in the spool. There's two bars right there and right there. Those are essentially spool kind of like handicaps, like you put handicaps on a bowling alley. Uh, this kind of helps you prevent what the Alpha Air did. In the Alpha Air, the line would bunch up not on the sides, it would not it would not wind evenly. It would have peaks right before the sides on both sides by at least like a millimeter or something or so. With this spool, it helps you get a little bit better line lay whenever you're talking about things like PE. That's the reason why this reel I prefer over the Alpha's Air because it is an upgrade. It doesn't have that much of a problem. And the drag, I believe, is different from the Alpha's Air as well. It's a stronger drag. It's a much stronger drag. How much is the drag? It is three and a half kilograms. So that, no, that's the same. So three and a half kilograms should be about roughly 7.6 pounds, I want to say. 7.7, .7, I was wrong on that. 7.7. .7. Point is, drag feels consistent. It feels a little different to me. I don't know if I'm crazy. Maybe it's because it has already a pre-installed drag clicker, but this reel feels way smoother. With my Alphys, I had to put on a new handle to make it feel even as smooth as this reel. And that is a $90 handle. I did not pay for the handle. I, I won't lie to you guys on my Alphys. This reel, I 100% paid for. Uh, this reel, it is. It, it feels so light, so smooth, and I cannot wait to see how it performs in actual salt water. Because this is designed for salt water. My plan is to start doing more things like uh, trout, trout weighting, uh, essentially like how guys do with BFS now. Check that out. There's the side plate for you guys if you wanted to see it. Here is the spool. That is the spool for you guys. Looks sealed, bearings, yep. But uh, I'm going to start doing sea trout waiting. Uh, essentially where I'm waiting on saltwater flats for sea trout because I don't know why lately I've just been wanting to try it out. So that is the inside, the guts of the reel. If you guys wanted to see that, just popped it back in there. It is so smooth, guys. And the zero adjust, like I was mentioning earlier, you don't have to touch the spool tension knob. It's all set up for you, ready to go. And what I'm going to be putting on this, guys, is I'm probably going to either try out some 0.6 go Daiwa Jaybury Grand on here, which is about roughly, I believe when you talk about 0.6 go, that's more of a 10 pound breakage versus like eight or six or whatever it is. But with Daiwa Jaybury Grand in the US, it says it's an average break strength of six pounds, but max break strength is more like 10. So I'm gonna be also trying out Varivis, uh saltwater light game line on here eventually, once I get it in. That line I think is going to perform even more ideally on this reel. So I'm probably gonna get point four go which is equivalent to eight and a half pound breakage that is going to fit almost a hundred meters of that on this reel now a hundred meter guys is almost a hundred yards of 0.4 go this reel is uh i believe the dial recommendation is actually 0.6 go for 50 meters that's the dial recommendation um, I'm going to try to overgo that debt recommendation a little bit more than what people usually do when I see them get this reel. Most people are getting this reel for trout fishing, like sea trout, not sea trout fishing, for like like brook trout, rainbow trout, stuff like that. Like Hobie has this reel, he uses this reel for trout fishing, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's not technically what it was designed for. What I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be using what it was designed for. I'm going to try to actually exceed that little recommendation because they knew people were going to do that. And my plan is to be using it for its actual purpose not probably exactly its actual purpose because it is the queen of the night night jigging all that junk I'm not gonna be using it for horse mackerel because we ain't got horse mackerel here but the point is I'm using this reel for more your saltwater situation so I'm gonna try to get a little bit more extra line on there than what most people would put on there uh, I don't really get care about the 50 meter recommendation the reason why is because I want that extra line the reason why is because I want to cast better which you cast better with 50 meters that's the reason why they recommend it if you guys were curious about that but i'm also going to be just putting a little bit more line in there in case i run into something big which is very likely where i live uh, i have a lot of big redfish a lot of big sea trout and a lot of big flounder and sometimes i run into black drum and i honestly don't want to get spooled by a black drum in like two seconds because 50 meters takes about in a black drum that's really big would probably take him about 30 seconds to go 50 meters i would say depends on the black drum it really depends it really depends on the situation too with this reel i feel like i'm capable of handling fish that big as long as i get the right line but that is everything i think i got to say about this reel i just talked for 17 minutes while sitting here in my truck good lord i uh, <laughs> i really don't realize how much i can talk about a reel until i get it in my hands because i'm really 
really excited about this reel, guys. Like, I really wish I could explain it better than I have, but this reel, I've been waiting on this reel for so long. I wish I had gotten this reel before I got my Alphys, but I'm not mad about my Alphys. My Alphys has allowed me to make so much content that has done awesome, that has gotten me into a BFS niche, and if you guys are thinking about getting into BFS, please do. You guys won't realize how much fun it really is until you try it. Everybody I've known that says, why use BFS when you can use spinning? Try BFS and you will find out. I promise you, you will find out why you don't use spinning versus BFS. It is so much different being able to catch regular sized fish on light gear with BFS. Now this reel is a little bit larger, a little bit above that beginner level, but if you guys have been considering it and you want to splurge a little bit, this is the reel to go to, I would say, in my opinion. If you're like me, want to try salt water, I would say that this is the reel you need to splurge on. I'm super excited to try this reel further. I'm super excited to make my next on the water video. I'm gonna be doing a lot more gear heavy video, guys. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of those tactical bass and style videos because to be honest with you guys, I suck at fishing sometimes and I wanna enjoy my time in the water a little bit more and sometimes not have to worry about filming. If you guys have a problem with that, really just tell me down in the comments below. I'll talk about it. If you guys can convince me to make more videos of me even skunking, which is not hard to do, uh, <laughs> then I'll do it, guys. I have a little bit more time to edit now uh, just because I'm out of school. So if you guys just let me know what the type of content you're okay with or what you guys want but the content that i want to make right now is a lot of gear heavy content because i'm a gear nerd i'm a gear head guys i am so obsessed with everything gear if you guys wonder it i've probably thought about it too and i want to make a video on it so this is going to be probably a two or three part series on just this reel what i love about it so far what i love about it in six months what i love about it in a year this reel is probably going to get an on the water first time video and then this reel is probably also going to get a first month impressions video three months impression video six months impressions video stuff like that and i'm also be talking about why you need to use this reel in salt water you guys stay tuned for all those videos i know i'm talking way too much as usual i want to say thank you for all the support you guys have always shown in my videos especially the bfs i love this community i love all the guys who watch my videos and i love the fact that we can be nerds about something fun and i hope that i have a great time with this reel i hope this reel is lucky let's guys like this video so that this reel will be lucky please like please just give me some luck i need it guys all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and remember if you haven't already go check out my links down below they always help me out if you guys haven't already go check out baitfinesseempire.com that is where i get all my bait finesse focused gear i'm actually getting a rod from there to actually test out and pair with this reel you guys stay tuned for that review too i'm getting a ton of lures from there too to actually to put on reviews put on videos for you guys what you guys need to do to get more fish in the water if you guys haven't already go check out baitfinesseempire.com amir over there is a great guy he actually he knows a lot about BFS and he can hook you up with some of the best gear that you can get in the United States. Now, I'm not talking about importing all this gear. I'm talking about you can buy it in the United States. And that is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I am super excited to test it out. And remember, guys, as always, this fear me.